In this second chapter, you will learn about the importance of top management in energy management. In this module, we address the criticality of top management's commitment to energy management. In module two, we cover what we expect top management to do in the energy management operation. In module three, we'll go into the detail of the energy policy, policy statement. In module four, we explain how the delegated power from top management is exercised in the management review. And in module five, we look at the appointment of the energy management manager as a management representative. Effective energy management requires a top-down approach. Imagine yourself in a top management position. What would you have to do to make sure that everyone in the organization had a shared understanding of the requirements of the new energy management system and the motivations behind it? You'd need to make sure your commitment to establish, implement and maintain an energy management system is very clear. It's important that the workforce are left in no doubt that top management consider the energy management system an absolute priority. As you'll learn in chapter three, the energy manager acts as a bridge, sharing thinking and information between top management and the workforce. Top managers are people with their own problems and their own personal goals. They, like you, are doing a job. They also report to someone else. Therefore, it's not as easy for them to take ownership of the operation of energy management as you may think. It's very important that top managers appreciate how important it is to manage energy for the company so that they make it a high priority in their personal goals. They need to recognize that sustainable business development depends on how well energy management integrates into the daily operations of the company and that their leadership and support is vital to that integration. Every business pro produces products or services that act as an energy source for their clients' activities. Therefore, energy efficiency means productivity. Energy management is not only the management of energy consumption, it's also about management of our business outputs. Energy management assesses how much value you produce per unit of energy used, or how much energy you use per unit of business you produce. That's why energy ma management is the essence of your business. It's a serious business matter, and top management needs to appreciate that. Fundamentally, top management must take leadership in pursuing continual energy performance improvement. In particular, the establishment, documentation, implementation, maintenance and improvement of the company's energy management systems. The definition and documentation of the scope and boundaries of the energy management system and the determination of the roles and responsibilities of the top management in the area of energy in order to achieve continuous improvement in energy performance and in the energy management system. Top management has ultimate responsibility for the success of the energy management system. Their commitment to success is the foundation of the system. Top management needs to believe that significant performance improvement is achievable. They need to drive towards that performance improvement and their support needs to be ongoing and consistent. It cannot end at the sign off of the policy. Once the commitment is in place, here are top management's further areas of responsibility. Establishing an energy policy, appointing an energy manager and giving that person the power of a management representative, agreeing roles and responsibilities, setting the scope and boundaries of the system and communicating the importance of the new system to the organisation, providing adequate resources to ensure the energy management system can operate is central. Also, ensuring the establishment of objectives and targets, ensuring that energy performance indicators are established and used, including energy performance and long-term planning, ensuring that results are reported regularly and conducting management reviews. While the provision of adequate resources for the energy management system is key, resources are never abundant when running a business. Here's a breakdown of some of the resource areas that top management should pay attention to. Human resources. Top management should assign adequate time from relevant people. The energy man management system has to be embedded in the daily business operation. It requires enhancement of knowledge and adequate training with motivation and through development sessions. If the energy manager is expected to take on other important tasks as well, 
their task intensity would need to be 150%. Top management needs to take account of that and assign resources to assist the energy manager or assign authority to the energy manager so that he or she can direct additional people when needed. Focus first on low or no cost improvements. Once these savings have been verified, a portion of the saved resources should be allocated to investments needed to further energy savings. Top management must use the available IT to meet the need for energy monitoring. Once the top management has declared their commitment to energy to the energy manager and appointed that energy manager, they need to take the decision to go ahead. Action on low-hanging opportunities should be taken before any investments are made. Top management's clear commitment and vision will be critical during the early stages of the change process. And here is a recap of the roles of top management and the benefits they will gain. Top management is the owner of the energy management system. They will gain from the system's positive impacts on the business and they must take ultimate responsibility for the outcomes from the system. Top management should appoint the energy manager as the system champion and they authorise establishment of the system and to declare their commitment to it. They must establish an energy policy, provide the resources needed for success, evaluate performance and constantly review it. The benefits for top management include improved profitability, stronger management, more skillful employees, fulfilment of corporate social responsibilities, more motivated workers, as well as reputational benefits.